Really? We had a reader request from one of our fans that asked, you know, how to how to get better at, you know, reloading any kind of drills, things like that. First and foremost, we are not trainers. We just try and offer assistance that we can provide from our experiences and our training that we've gone to. Um, what I would recommend is always, always, always try and seek out a professional instructor because they're going to teach you things. I mean, I've been shooting for a little while now, and I'll go to a beginner class and I'll still pick up, you know, one or two more things that I didn't really realize. So what we're going to go over is actually, if you carry whether concealed or otherwise, you need to practice how you carry. Got professional training. So the way I tend to practice is I have my strong side, which is your shooting, shooting hand, so to speak. Strong side holster, whether I'm carrying open or carrying concealed, it's always going to be uh, between my 3 and 4 o'clock position. I have my spare mags on my opposite side. Now there's two ways of holding mags. Uh, the way that most people teach you is bullets forward, which means when this is in your mag holster, bullets will be facing forward. So that when you come out, you wrap that first finger right around the front, so it's gonna come out, and you already know where the front of that thing is. So when out comes the pistol, it's gas and go. All right, so before we go through this drill, I want you to go ahead and realize that all my mags are in fact empty including the gun itself, chamber's clear. To practice the motions, it's all about muscle memory. It has absolutely nothing to do with actually putting bullets in the gun. You know how to do that. You gotta practice doing that better. What we're gonna do is go through the motions. We're gonna build that actual memory so I know exactly how to come in and out. So basically what I do is I'm gonna pull the gun, my support hand is ready to accept the gun. The gun begins turning as I come out of the holster, met by my support hand, and we're on target three dots in a row. We can bang, bang, bang. When I have to reload, my two little peace sign fingers are gonna flip that trigger guard up and in. I'm gonna bring it closer into my little area of, of work, and I'm keeping my eyes on the target. Whether it's through the actual hole to give you, you know, I don't personally like that because I think you're focusing on that and you're losing your peripheral. I actually look underneath the gun so that way I can actually see between the actual mag well and the trigger guard. I'm going to dump my magazine. As I dump my magazine, I'm already reaching for a new mag. My new mag is going to come up and out. I'm going to actually meet it right there, slam it home, and we're going to do a slingshot back on target. Now I'll show you what that looks like at normal speed. So here we go. Gun comes out. Back and in. Gas and go. Back out. And we're open. So what we're gonna do now is load some up and we'll run it as fast as I can without being reckless. Let's try this again. Again, practice makes perfect. So you can't sit there and just rush through it and be amazing. You gotta fast as smooth, smooth as fast. So here we go. Weapons. We don't need to actually have bullets in the gun to practice this because what we're doing is we're building up the repetition and the motions. Even if you want to practice this with live fire, you only need two to three rounds per magazine if you want to fire for effect, simply because there's no point in wasting 10 to 12 rounds, 16 rounds, 17 rounds just to practice this motion. I hope this helps everyone, you know, try and get better at, you know, working with the gear you got and being more effective with your gun. And uh, you stay safe, make sure you check your chambers. Have a great day. It goes there and there, damn it. Just get on target. And that's enough to neutralize anything. Yeah, I'm, really? Neutralize? Because I'm f***ing a gunfighter? No, I'm not. Jesus.
getting the gun out is just as important as actually shooting someone which you shouldn't be doing pop 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 and just repeat pop 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 repeat pop 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 repeat that's not a loop I just do it that much all right out and in just leave that like that